Well, hello. Welcome to Theology in Motion. My name is Eric. I'm a father, husband, former pastor and church planter here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And the purpose of Theology in Motion is to share conversations and inspiring stories that would um, awaken a sense of deep thought and action in God's people. Um, if you're anything like me, you're one of those people who, no matter what you read, what you hear about, what sermon you listen to, there's that voice in the back of your head that always goes, so what? Uh, and all, over through the years, I've had plenty of conversations with a lot of friends, a lot of folks in ministry that I've known who've given me tremendous insight and wisdom. And what I want to do here is create a platform where we can have similar discussions and, and encourage God's people in a unique way. Uh, you know and I know there's a ton of podcasts out there. There are so many great resources to grow theologically, to grow in understanding justice and finances. Uh, what I believe is a unique opportunity for us now is to think on all the complex issues around us and how the gospel and how the scriptures uh, speak to all of those situations. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my backstory. You know, I, I became a preacher back in 2006 and I became a Christian. 1997, uh, not inside of a church, but at a camp called Teen Haven. And I remember just having my mind blown by the gospel and understanding that I was a sinner and that there was a God who would radically change me and make me into a saint. Uh, but over the years, from the time I was saved, I, I struggled a lot with a lot of questions. And a lot of times what I heard was, you know, we need to wait for God to, to come, wait for the rapture, as I understood it at the time, and that all our troubles would be over. And thank God, over time, I found people who poured into me, who would talk to me about the questions that I had. I'm so thankful that I had people who never told me to dumb down answers or to just believe, but instead to search the scriptures. And that's what I've received. And I believe we live in a moment where we need to have similar conversations. Um, I'll tell you just uh, briefly some of the things that happened along my ministry road that tremendously uh, blessed me. Um, first, I remember Dallas Seminary. I'm not sure if they still have it, but they used to have a church planting week. And when I first learned about this, I didn't know what church planting was. Honestly, in my context, church planting was where a uh, disgruntled youth pastor, a youth pastor would leave his, his church, take a couple teens and college students with him and try to start a church or fail and then maybe come back sometime later. Uh, you know, church plants were church splits. But I remember this story from a guy named John Bryson who said that somebody had given him a copy of Tim Keller's um, study on Galatians and he went through it and was led to plant a church with Brian Loritz in Tennessee and it was all based on what he got from Galatians and I remember it just it lit a fire in me to not just understand church planting but also to live in such a way where God's Word caused my actions I wanted to be the kind of Christian that could be able to explain to anyone who asks why I make the decisions I make, why I go the way that I go, why I support church planting, why I support uh, church-based missions. I, I wanted to, and I still want to labor to be that kind of Christian, and I think we, we all should. Um, we should all go to the scriptures in a way where the Bible is in the driver's seat of what we're doing. Um, I remember another situation where, you know, I heard these stories about a church planter that was coming to Philadelphia, also from Dallas Seminary. You may know him, Eric Mason. And I remember him sharing a testimony how uh, the Lord had blessed him and his wife as they were reading Micah. And he read Micah 6, 8. And just on that alone, he wanted to plant a church. And I remember now thinking to myself, you know, what am I going to do? You know, I wanted to have my own story. Um, and over time, I've seen so many things occur over the last decade, whether it has to do with justice, uh, racial relations in America, missions abroad. Um, I think there is a generation of Christians being raised up and those who are leading now who want to live in such a way where the testimony always leads back to uh, Jesus Christ building his church, the Holy Spirit, convicting people of sin and the scriptures being honored as um, our compass, as our, as our guide. Um, and so what I just want to do is have more of those conversations, uh, lead people to think in the way that we honor the Bible and give it a high place in our hearts. And so what I hope is that you'll consider subscribing, following, and uh, being part of the conversations that we have. Uh, I'm not perfect. I invite you to test the Spirit by the Spirit. 
Um, don't necessarily believe everything we say, but definitely think deeply and consider how we live and how we go about uh, ministry in our context. And when I say ministry, I don't mean church ministry. I mean your vocation. I mean your parenting. I mean your marriage. Uh, I think we all are commanded in Scripture to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind and to that end. Um, I hope that this platform can be a blessing to those of us who want to pursue that. And so if there's any way that uh, we can be a blessing to you, I'm open to feedback and to uh, participate in conversations with, with Christians from all walks of life. And so I hope this is a blessing to you, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.